All right, so I started today by finding this little guy in my backyard. Uh, didn't really know what it was at first. I'm not much of a frog guy, so I asked my buddy Noah. He says it's uh, likely a mountain chorus frog, and he was just popping through the grass. So I'm gonna release him. I'm gonna release him back into the grass, kind of like how I found him. So there you go, buddy. Have fun going through all this. Good to see you. Pretty little frog. I like the, the light colors and the light pattern. What a neat looking frog. And I believe that's as big as they get too. So, pretty cool. Always fun to find stuff in the backyard that you weren't really planning on. All right, so I'm editing this video right now. This is from when my friends from Aquascape came down from Chicago. Uh, they wanted to come down one night and kind of look for some wild turtles. Uh, they kind of wanted to see what my spots were like. They've never seen, you know, half of the species uh, that I have down here where I live. So uh, we wanted to kind of take a night. Uh, I decided nighttime was the best time to see, you know, the most variety of turtles. Uh, kind of the downside was when they came, we were getting hit with a cool front and temperatures just dropped right away. So we hardly found anything, and last minute I managed to pull out uh, one significant turtle. So, um, sorry this video is a little bit short. Uh, that's kind of what happened. Uh, they just came and, you know, we, we hiked through at night and we found what we found. And unfortunately it wasn't a lot, but that's just how herping goes. I mean, there's no guarantees, um, but uh, thanks for watching this video and hope you enjoy it. All right, so just got down here with uh, Ed Ballou, the pond professor, and Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. We're gonna look for some turtles, uh, along with Bob Krause and Chip from Memphis. Uh, hopefully we see a lot of turtles. Um, these guys came a long way to see some really cool stuff. I'm gonna do my best to come through and find some stuff for them, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, so here's Bob with an Eastern River Cooter. This is what it's all about, huh? <laughs> got Greg out here. Hey, man, brother. Showing him some turtles. I love it. Down in the south. You like uh, that shell? Yeah, I love it. Oop, that was a cat. Isn't it? I bet it's a female. I don't know if you could tell this they're small really, size. They're not really sexable. Not, not until size, they get big, huh? Males tend to be a little wider at the rear yeah. than females, so. Uh, but, you know, they prehistoric can, beast. Uh huh. Doesn't surprise you. Head on them. <laughs> what a beautiful animal. It is awesome. Nice find. What do you think, Greg? I think that was worth it. Nice. Gorgeous. This is little Woody. <laughs> <laughs> grab your nose. You know, he doesn't smell. First one you've seen in person? Yes. I've never held a turtle before. Well, you never even held a turtle. Never before? held a turtle. Well, I mean, at the dime store. Yeah, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cool. Mm -hmm. We got some dope stuff, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Greg, I'm glad I can make it happen for you, man. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. So we finally found an alligator snapping turtle. Took about till 2 a.m. And, uh, but now we're letting him go. He found a nice little spot to hide out. I think everybody's ready to go to bed. So um, just give you some last parting shots of this alligator snapping turtle. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like these, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos like this. Leave me a comment down in the comments below if you love alligator snapping turtles. And I'll I see you on the next job. one. <laughs> and that guy loves his job. Greg the Pond Guy. Be sure to follow Greg the Pond Guy on his YouTube channel. As well as Ed Blue at Ed the Pond Professor. And uh, these guys are awesome. So I'll have a link in the description.